What you guys got another video here for you. This is another fix it video. This one is how to fix DLL is missing error from your computer. So if you've got some sort of error from a DLL file that is missing or corrupted on your system, then I'm going to show you how you can fix it in this video. Now, the first things that you want to do is try to find out what DLL error you've got. Now, if it's a program or graphics driver, then you want to replace those uh, drivers. OK, so for instance, if you've got a graphics driver issue, then you want to reinstall your graphics driver first, whether it be NVIDIA or AMD, go to their website and download a fresh version of that driver to be reinstalled on your computer. Now, to make sure that you do this properly, you can use a program called Display Driver Uninstaller. And basically, this will allow you to uninstall the graphics driver fully. And this will leave no remnants on your computer whatsoever of that graphics driver. And this is important to make sure that you don't have any remnants or DLL files left behind that could be corrupted, that could be causing this error message. So just download the program here and basically uninstall your uh, graphics driver and then reinstall it okay and uh, you should be okay if it's a graphics driver problem now if it's not a graphics driver problem it could be related to a program now if you've got a program DLL error then you'll need to use something like Revo uninstaller to uninstall that program fully and make sure you remove every element of that um, program from your computer and then reinstall the program and hopefully you should be pretty much good to go from there now, if it's a Windows related DLL error, then I'm going to show you some of the steps you can can take to try to resolve this issue. Now, DLL errors are very common, but there's many different reasons why you're going to get them, whether they're program related graphics or Windows. I'll show you all of that in this video. So let's go down to the search box here and we're going to type in here CMD. Right click on this and run this as administrator. And this will open up the command prompt window. From here, you want to run uh, SFC space forward slash scan now and what this will do is run a scan of your system files and any sort of corruption or any bad Windows files it will fix those for you and now it does take a bit of time so you just got to be patient and let it uh, run its uh, scan okay now once that's been completed your problem should be resolved you want to restart your computer and if you're still having issues then what you want to do here is go back into the command prompt by typing cmd right click on this and run this as administrator once the command prompt box opens up you want to type in here dism space forward slash online and then space forward slash cleanup dash image and then space forward slash restore health and once you've typed that in uh, run this and this should fix and resolve your problem with the DLL uh, error that you're getting okay now this does take a bit of time so be patient and let it run its course and uh, you may want to uh, go make yourself a cup of tea or something because it does take a bit of time to run these now once this is finished running you want to restart your computer and then hopefully you should have no more problem with your uh, DLL error but if you still have any issues I'll show you some other steps that you can take to try to resolve uh, this problem once and for all so open up your this PC and then go to your C drive on a good known working computer you want to go down to your Windows and system 32 folder and you can copy the broken DLL file from this good working uh, Windows system okay so you have to have a working computer to do this and it has to be the same version of Windows that you're using there to copy the DLL file uh, to the uh, problem that you're having okay so I'm just going to pick one at random and all you need to do here is copy it and paste it onto your desktop you can put that onto a flash drive and then copy this over to your new computer and you should be good to go you can also install a virtual box if you wanted to and install Windows on that and copy the file from there to your desktop never download files from the internet they are not safe and you want to do it that method okay next up you can also install or reinstall the, the visual uh, c++ redistributables now whether these are installed or you need to install them you can basically download them from the microsoft uh, website here 
and basically install these. Now sometimes these can rectify problems or issues with DLL files and especially benchmarking software and stuff like that that you may be trying to run it might need these installed to have them run properly. So just download these and you can hit the uh, x64 or x86 depending on what version of Windows you're running normally it's x64 run this and install them on the system. Now if they're already installed then you can remove them from the uh, programs and features area in control panel. So we're going to install those I'm just going to quickly install this to show you. See, so yes, the user account control, and this will install these onto the system. And hopefully, uh, this should resolve your problem. Now, DirectX also is another one that you can always check up as well to make sure that that is up to date and installed. So, we're going to move on to the next step. There is some other versions here, as you can see, Visual Studio, right down to um, 2008. There, you can go right away back. So let's go back down to the search box here and type control panel here. Another thing that we're going to be installing here is the .NET framework. So if it's already installed, you can reinstall this and repair it by removing the ticks and rebooting the computer and then going back into here, which is your programs and features. So go into turn Windows features on or off, click on this and let it uh, populate the Windows features uh, box here. It does take a bit of time to populate once that's populated you should see an option for your .NET Framework 3.5 includes 2.0 and 3.0 make sure you get these installed you should see the .NET Framework uh, 4.7 installed here if you've got an issue with .NET Framework you will need to repair it there's a repair tool that you can use um, for that as well I'm going to let Windows Update download these files for me and install them on the system and hopefully this should resolve your issue with your DLL files. So just let that install and we can close this off, reboot the computer and you should be pretty much good to go. Now your final method, which is a bit more drastic, is to perform an in-place upgrade. And you can do that by going to the Microsoft website and downloading the media creation tool from Microsoft's website here. Download this and get this installed on the system once you've got it installed, you'll be able to download the ISO file, which you're going to need to mount uh, and then install uh, from there or do an in-place upgrade. I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to run the media creation tool here. Once we get this populated, it will come up here. And uh, we'll let this come up on the screen. There we go. It's going to get a few things ready here. Just accept their terms and conditions. It'll say getting a few things ready again. And once we've got this, we can create an installation media, USB drive or DVD or get an ISO. You can leave it as the recommended for this computer because that's the computer we're going to be using. Select the ISO file and select next. Once we've done this, this will download the ISO file to our designated area where we want to take it. So I'm going to put it onto my desktop here. It will say getting a few things things ready again and let that come down, okay? Depending on how fast your download speed is will determine how fast it is. I'm going to click finish. It's just going to do some setup and cleanup because we've just downloaded a file. That shouldn't take too long. And there we go. Now we've got our ISO here. Right click on this and we're going to mount this to our drive. So we're going to mount. Once we've done this, we can let that mount and then we can go to our file explorer here and explore and see the drive has been mounted. So go to this PC, you should see it here. And now I'll hit the setup inside here. Now, once we've hit the setup, click yes, the user account control, and this will start the process. So we're going to let this boot up again and uh, let this prepare and get. 100% here and once that's done we can then start to select our upgrade now this does take a bit of time so just be very patient here you can see here get updates and drivers and optional features this is probably going to be the best option because this will download all the recommended uh, optional features drivers and updates that are needed and this will speed up the process now this is going to get all the updates and get things ready 
and of course once this is done this should fix any sort of windows dll issue and this should also fix any programs or graphics drivers uh, dll issue now we can ready to install it's going to install windows 10 pro and you can click on uh, change what i want to keep now if you want to keep your personal files and your apps this is the one to select this is basically going to install windows over the top of windows and click next and this will give you the final option to go install and this should resolve a lot of your dll issues now if you still have an issue after you've done this then the only other option is to do a complete fresh install of your operating system that will mean you will have to back up your data and do a fresh install with windows 10 you can still use the media creation tool to do that as well just create a usb flash drive and install windows 10 from there other than that that should be it you should be up and running my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this one's been helpful to you guys if you want to drop onto our discord server for a chat then i'll leave the link in the video description thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.